Soldiers of the Florida National Guard's 779th Engineer Battalion ended their year-long deployment to Iraq with a hero's welcome in the capital city May 24th. The Tallahassee-based unit boarded buses and made the journey home from Fort Stewart, Georgia, escorted by law enforcement and several Patriot Guard riders. The 779th conducted engineering missions throughout northern Iraq, including construction and route clearance, as well as training and mentoring Iraqi engineers. According to Command Sergeant Major Jeff Topping, these MTTs, or military training teams, played a vital role in the unit's mission. I think the greatest accomplishment, personally, I think, is our two uh, EMIT teams that worked with the field regiment engineers to actually went out and live with the Iraqi uh, engineers. We're teaching them to stand on their own, sustain on their own for the entire time that we were there. Florida Governor Charlie Crist, Lieutenant Governor Jeff Kotkamp, and Major General Douglas Burnett congratulated the Guardsmen on a successful mission. You have no idea, as your Commander-in-Chief, how grateful and happy for you and all of your family members I am that every single one of you have come home. The day was important also for the families of the 779th, who, through the support of the Family Readiness Group, faced the challenges involved when a loved one is deployed. This has really been a good tour. I really think our families have done extremely well, and I think everybody's kind of bonded with other families and really just put their best foot forward, if you will. Although it was a long year, the soldiers and families can rest at ease knowing that the unit brought everyone home safely. For the Florida National Guard Public Affairs Office, this is Sergeant Blair Houston.